Only in America, I'm wearing red light shades. Sunday night past a reasonable bedtime, I'm club hopping between fetish shows, watching fat girls in pumps spanking slaves. After cheeseburgers and cocktails with strange names like purple nipple with a splash of seven up. Only in America, I'm wearing red light shades. I'm half crazed on unstable solutions at 1 a.m., stumbling the boulevard like a Rockefeller pimp in cheap sunglasses. Tinted with a strange shade of red to show, every city light, a sci-fi carnival, or a glamorous apocalypse. And I know, I'm almost 40 and unemployed. Just another statistic in my generation of chaos, and although the priorities do not relate, I probably will not have it as well as my parents who don't even have it so good. Second mortgage out on the East Coast without a retirement plan, and I am the assumed prodigal son, only thinking 12 hours ahead of my life every day. Only in America, I'm wearing red light shades. I signed a cross with a syringe, every Mexican my Jesus, and I'm pissed off most of the time, wondering if poetry makes a difference, if fast food will kill me, if there's a future in clerking at a convenience store because I'm an unskilled felon in the eyes of a workforce that I do not identify with. And the whole time, all I want to be is lost. Lost between moments of sleep and wake and work and paid and saving the money and loving and coming and making love with poetry. But I'm afraid of a destiny I feel destined to reach if, if I only have the bus fare or don't stay in bed dreaming of what makes money make money anyway. Only in America I'm wearing red light shades and I can't romance my way out of this one. None of my friends are N.A.S. Nin or Henry Miller nor am I. This isn't Paris in the 30s. Unprotected sex has consequence. Bread and wine is a passe sustenance, among other things like artistic ideals will sustain you. Finger painting and pleasant phrases, well, they don't pay the rent. And I'm tired of dot-com plastered inside the walls of my head. Everywhere I go, cell phones and pagers replacing direct communication. And I'm finding my voice right here, just where I left it, just like yours. And sometimes, all I know is what I feel. Only in America, I'm wearing red light shades. And I'm still gazing that spectacle of red lamp lights with halos, looking for company and misery angels to save me from anything better than this. 1.30 a.m., bus stop, waiting for my lift. As the sad truth comes due, this happens not only in America, but mine is a self-centered path, which makes me wholly American. And it's no wonder there's no wonder left, and it leaves me feeling numb. I'm just seeking redemption from disillusionment while still trying to make a buck.